Have you ever looked at the playlist section of your channel and wondered if you could ever move your playlist around into some sort of order that makes sense? Because if you take a look, it doesn't seem like you can do that. Well, today, have I got a treat for you, a bit of a tutorial on how you can customize the order of the playlists showing in your playlist tab on your channel. Big shout out to Joe's Phenomenal for this one. So let's hook in. G'day, Doug. Back with you with another video. And on this channel, we love to talk about content creation stuff, YouTube, and a whole lot more. Today is definitely a YouTube related question. Let's head straight to the computer. Now what you can see here is a typical look at what your playlist would look like on the playlist tab. You can see my playlist here. It says created playlist and it just lists them in big thumbnails all the way down to a whole bunch of old ones that I've got there. So you can see it's sorted by two different ways in regards to how the viewer wants to see it. They can see it date added as in the whole playlist added. So the newest ones will be at the top or it'll be sorted by the last video added the last time a video was added to a playlist and they're not really practical for us as creators in how we present our playlists so let's jump in to how you can fix this first thing you're going to need to do is jump to studio and click on customization and on the first tab the layout You've got your typical featured sections for your homepage. You say, Doug, this is all to do with homepage. How's this gonna affect your playlist? Well, if you go back to a video I did a little while back, a couple of months ago on featured channels, you could add a featured channel list on your homepage and that would also appear in the channel tab on your account. This is gonna be exactly the same thing. So you can see here at the moment, I've got single playlist listed by and large. So I'm gonna click add a section and I'm gonna go with the one called multiple playlists. And I get this little dialog box where I can give it a name first of all. So these might be playlists you wanna check out or Doug's awesome playlists. Something that would be, would be enticing that would show that this is a more of a curated list of playlists rather than just here's all the playlists I've ever had on my channel. So we're going to put together a list of playlists right now and we're going to call it something uh, Doug's Recommended Playlists. That's what I'm going to call it. Capital R would be good because we want to be presenting professionally. Now I can just go ahead and just add them in any order for now. So I can just go from the top. I do want to show off content creation. I want to show off my most current uploads. I do want to talk about channel moderation. A few moments later. Okay, now over on the right hand side here, you can see we've got them in order. With the line menu, we can grab that. You can see it goes into grab mode. We can actually change the order. So I want my most recent uploads first. A few moments later. That'll do for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to click done. So the first thing you'll notice is I've now got a section called multiple playlists, Doug's recommended playlists. I'm just going to leave it right at the bottom of my homepage. I don't want to draw too much attention to it on the homepage because some of these are playlists I'm already featuring on my homepage. Most, most important thing, click publish so that it saves your section there. And so now that's done. So now I'm going to jump to my channel and we're going to, I'm just going to go to my homepage. Let's scroll to the bottom to show that it's there. Doug's recommended playlist, you can see it's here. No surprise, we knew it was going to be there because we just added it to the homepage. Now I'm going to click on playlists. Now you can say, oh, that Doug, that looks the same. Hang on, let me scroll. Now you can see we've got two sections, the create a playlist section, which can continue on with the arrow here. And we've got Doug's recommended playlists. This is the one we've just put together and it is in the exact order that I just put them in. Now you can leave it like that, but let's uh, one up that a little bit. Let's go back to the top. You can see this little pull down menu here says all playlists. We can select actually if we wanna show the created playlist section or the recommended playlist section. We can pick one to feature. So let's pick Doug's recommended playlists. 
and now we have a section that is curated for my viewers in particular. Now, it's not gonna show you every playlist on my channel, but it might help reflect the playlist that you really wanna promote and provide, because you might have some playlists from years ago that really don't relate to your channel anymore. Of course, you can remove those playlists, but you might wanna leave them there in the background for uh, data purposes, for, part, for looking at data on those playlists. And, and there might be videos in there that you just don't want to unlist in particular, but you don't want to be promoting them as a playlist per se. So if I had added more, then this would show me more, but I, I, I think I put in about uh, 10, and there's 10 there on the screen. In order, I put them in. Uploads, moderation, shorts, monetization, YouTube taxes, protecting your YouTube channel, Streamlabs, StreamYard, Prism Live Studio, and content creation apps. That's the exact order that I put them in. So if you want to fully customize your playlist tab on your channel, this is the way to do it. Make sure that you dive into the comment section if you've got any questions on this. And if this has been helpful in any way to you, make sure that you're just dropping a thumbs up on this video because that tells YouTube that you're digging the video. It's all about satisfaction. Now, earlier in the video, I mentioned the featured channels section of how to set that up. If you haven't seen that video before, I'm gonna put it up here in the card right now. And this is Doug. Make sure you go watch the video and I'll catch you later. Subscribe to Doug Hughes and YT for more tech for content creation.